Hello, uh, my name is Batul Fatma, and this is my partner Mike. And uh, uh, hello, my name is uh, Mike. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we are working on this capstone project uh, of Module Two JavaScript. And uh, we have been working on it for the past couple of days and uh, as a team. So uh, what is the Movie Maze app? Movie Maze app is basically a website uh, which shows different movies and also provide details about them like uh, the description, ratings, and uh, different other details. It also allows us to like the movies and also comment about it. So for the technology part, we have used HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, uh, on in the front end, and for the back end, we have used uh, JavaScript. We have also used Webpack and Jest for other purposes. Okay, uh, let's move to the key features part. Uh, our website uses two different APIs. One is EVMaze API, and the second one is uh, Involvement API. EVMaze API is uh, fetching the movies, you know, uh, the cards that are being shown, the movies that are being shown our, uh, on our homepage. And the involvement API is responsible for getting the likes, getting the comments, and uh, storing the comments to uh, API. Uh, so uh, the likes and comments data is uh, stored and fetched by involvement API, and the movies uh, are being fetched by uh, our other API that we used, and that is called TV Maze API. So we are using uh, basically two APIs. Uh, okay, uh, let's move forward. This is uh, the sneak peek of our project that we have built together. Uh, we will explain that uh, uh, in a little bit uh, uh, in detail. Okay. Okay. Uh, here, uh, this is our uh, website. Uh, we have deployed it using GitHub pages. This is uh, the home page of our, our website. You can see uh, there are uh, movies. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, let me uh, share the API functions with you. Uh, these movies are being fetched by a TV Maze API that we uh, just talked about earlier. And the involvement API is responsible for likes. You know, when a user clicks on the likes button, it uh, updates the like and it fetches uh, the likes for you uh, back to the page again. So uh, these are uh, two APIs that uh, we are working uh, with. Mm -hmm. And uh, the movies counter is uh, being shown in the uh, nav bar. Uh, as you can see, 21, there are 21 movies uh, in the homepage section. This is our footer. So uh, let me uh, take you to my code so that you can have a better idea what we have built. So these are uh, the linter setup. This is our readme, as you can see, with the so many sections according to the template. Okay, these are uh, authors, future features that we can add, acknowledgement, license, everything. Okay, uh, let's talk about code. Here uh, is our source folder. We are uh, uh, managing all the uh, modules with the uh, webpack. These are modules. We have uh, created separate modules for uh, separate tasks. As you can see, uh, when a user clicks on the uh, like button, this code is responsible for getting the like to the API. When a user clicks on, uh, uh, you know, uh, get like button, uh, like button, uh, the likes uh, are being updated and uh, these are being fetched uh, back uh, to the uh, user interface by this function. So we have uh, uh, followed uh, ES6 uh, syntax for the uh, website. These are our modules. Uh, okay. Uh, this, this is uh, our test folder. As you can see, uh, we have uh, used two tests and uh, just is the method method that we have used. This uh, folder is uh, of the assets. And uh, this is our main HTML. Uh, this is uh, the main entry point index.js. And this is our style sheet that we have used for styling of the website. We have used uh, a bootstrap in uh, our website for the main styling. But uh, this is a little bit of CSS. 
Okay. Okay, so for the comment part here, you can see we have a button of comment and this is basically fetching the comments using the API and uh, also showing the counter of the comment as well as it is also showing a form to add the comment. So uh, I can add my name and I can add a comment, nice movie maybe. And if I press comment, you can see that it is uh, submitting the comment with the help of the uh, API that we talked about, and it is also displaying it uh, on the uh, on this section. So, uh, and also uh, when I click on the comment button, you can see that it's uh, giving us a very uh, good information about the movie and the genres and the language and uh, different data. So uh, this all uh, data is being fetched using the uh, TP Maze API. And uh, this comment part is being done using the second API, which is basically our interaction API. Okay, so uh, let me show you the code. Uh, so again, uh, Mike did explain all the structure. So I'm going to go through the uh, my functions that I created. So in the, uh, here you can see I have a pop-up data, which is basically creating a model, which you just uh, saw in the interface. And also it is calling the API. It is patching the comments from the uh, API involvement API. And it is also, uh, you know, uh, making the model and get uh, inserting the uh, data into it. And uh, the other file is add coming where I'm again hitting the API and uh, posting the uh, data into it. And uh, for the display coming, I'm just creating a uh, using DOM to create uh, basically uh, the uh, counter and the uh, diff for showing the uh, comments fetched from the API.